when we think of New York, we normally think of Times Square and the tall buildings, but much of the city is at a very low level, and that's why the mayor has ordered an evacuation of Zone A plus the Rockaways. So let's take a look at the map and let me orient you here. First of all, here we go. Up to the north, the uh, top part of this map here, that's the tip of Manhattan right there. This is Staten Island, and notice all of the coastal areas of Staten Island are ordered uh, evacuated. That's because the hurricane, Irene, will push a tremendous amount of water into this corner here that uh, enters into New York Harbor. Over here now, we're talking about the lower end of Brooklyn. This is Coney Island here. These are the Rockaways, and even though this is not marked on our map, that is under evacuation. This is Jamaica Bay, JFK. So Jamaica Bay Islands, all ordered evacuated by the mayor. Now let's go over to the Brooklyn waterfront. Here is all the entire waterfront of Brooklyn ordered evacuated. This is the Gowanus Canal. Evacuations within blocks of the Gowanus Canal if you're in that area over by Park Slope. Now now look at Lower Manhattan. Here we are in the financial district here, Wall Street right there. This is the West Side Highway. That is all ordered evacuated, the battery down to the south, or all mandatory evacuation order. One more view of Lower Manhattan there. This is Pearl Street here, so if you know Lower Manhattan, Everything to the east of Pearl Street and everything to the west of the West Side Highway is ordered evacuated in Lower Manhattan. In other words, a good part of those low-lying areas, and we'll see tomorrow if the hurricane keeps coming, there may actually be more evacuations ordered. Of course, the subway system shutting down at noon tomorrow, and no doubt that will last for the rest of the weekend, perhaps into Monday, just depends on what happens. So that's the story on New York right now.